Hey, all of us here at Rear TV, welcome. Check it out. We are just getting into the town of Marblehead. Just left the state park, that lighthouse. What a cool, cool stop that lighthouse is. Definitely highly recommend that. What a cool little tiny uh, state park right there on the water. All right, this is the town of Marblehead. Don't know a whole bunch about it. We're actually heading over towards uh, Port Clinton. There's another lighthouse over there we're going to check. As we keep traveling the shorelines of Lake Erie. Trying to check out these old historic towns just like this one. Marblehead, Ohio. Look at the old buildings and stuff. <laughs> cool, huh? Also, right up here, I'll make a stop, is that Kelly's Island Ferry. I'm not going to take it. My goodness, it they wanted uh, is over a couple hundred dollars to haul this van out there, which can't do that. But maybe we can get a picture of it or something. Oh, look at the old police department! Look at that thing. Wow, look at this conveyor system. This must be for loading uh, ships barges look at that thing goes all the way out to the water wow pretty impressive there's the old cop shop village of Marblehead police department city hall <laughs> and the clock is not working <laughs> time stands still here in Marblehead there's the ferry coming in. See, they don't haul that many. They charge by the foot. And then I read online the return, you could uh, spend almost the entire day waiting to get on a return boat. Just not worth it. But the length of the van and everything, it would have been close to $200 to take that ferry out there and back. There are campsites on that island, though. There is camping out there. All right, well, we got another stop. I found it online. It's called East Harbor State Park. It's supposed to have a really fantastic view of Kelly's Island. So let's run out there and we'll check it out real quick. We're just now leaving Marblehead. Good road out through here. Aha! East Harbor State Park, half mile to the right. Yay! Really good road. Patches of blue sky. Here it is here. Entrance. I don't think there's a fee to just check it. There is a massive campground in here. Big one. Almost all these campgrounds are sold out, though, this time of year. Everyone comes up here in the summer to stay cool. Get out of the heat. This is the entrance for the camp. We're not going in there. We just want to find the water. We'll drive out. It looks like on the phone here, if we keep going straight, we'll end up out here in the water. Should be like a park area. They use. Place is huge. Yeah, all these campgrounds. I kind of looked and they are booked. Even the RV parks are pretty much sold out. You really got to know where you're going to end up. If you want to stay in one of these places. Just to pop in and try to get a site. It's probably not going to happen. We 
go. There's Lake Erie. That's that Kelly's Island out there. Cool. This is all day use. All right, let me try to find a place to park. Shouldn't be a problem. It looks empty. <laughs> This will work. I see a storyboard over here and a bench. Got to check these out. See a lot of people walking their doggies too. Probably out of the campground. Okay, welcome to East Harbor State Park. Their day use area. We're right at the edge of the park here on the water. The lure of Lake Erie. Oh wow, look at the boat. Look at that thing, huh? Wow. Get all the sails up on that thing, that'll really go. Cool. Some of the old time boats going through here and then the little fishing boats. <laughs> Transportation corridor. All the Great Lakes are, I think. View for a quarter. Whoa, you don't want to trip in that thing. There's the water. Concrete steps. Or at some time you could swim out of here, maybe. I don't know. Pretty. Way out there, there's that uh, Kelly's Island. Pretty unique park between Lake Erie and you got the inland waterways, camping, boating, kayaking, canoeing. <laughs> what else we got? There's a good look at the lakes. There's the camping areas in there, all nestled in the trees. I bet the fishing is just endless. There's a road we just came in on. I think over somewhere out there is that Port Clinton. That's where we're heading next. You can drive quite a ways out here. Got a lot of parking. Might even have a boat launch maybe out here. Got some rock barriers. There's that Kelly's Island. Pretty cool. Or maybe that's Kelly's Island. <laughs> There's a couple islands, who knows. Look how little that boat looks out in that big old lake, huh? And it's probably a big boat. <laughs> All right, back off to the highway. We're gonna head on over to that Port Clinton. Check out their lighthouse. They're supposed to have a pier once again right on the water you don't realize all the boat towns shoreline towns waterways there are around the Great Lakes but they're endless every little town has them pretty cool good RV and Should be our highway. I'm trying to stay off the main roads as much as possible and I'm avoiding all big towns. Really trying to. If I do run into where I have to drive through one, I'm jumping on a freeway and just bypassing it. No sense filming that. We are back road small towns. 163 West. Here we come. This should take us right up into uh, Port Clinton.
State Park over to Port Clinton, the lighthouse. It's only about eight miles. Not far at all. Just a few minutes. Wow, look at them flowers. Yay, made it. Port Clinton, here we are. Look at that huge porch. Those have to be like apartments. View of the water. Here we go. Historic lighthouse. Found it. Cool. I see the lighthouse. Boy, it rained here. Look at the puddles. They got a pavilion tent. Maybe they got weddings and stuff out here. Different events. There's the lighthouse. Let me get parked. We'll go check it out. We got over there. Look, there's a. That's where the boats go out. We'll check that out too. Got a statue of a fisherman with his dog. Pretty cool. And I'd say this one's a replica. Looks pretty little. <laughs> But you never know. Maybe they're using it. Let's see what the sign says. Fort Clinton Light Station. Yep, it's a replica. It's what remains of it. So, cool. They saved it since it was discontinued in 1870. So it must be a different one. Cool. History. They're saving history right here. Look at the effort it takes to do that. They got it up on piers so it doesn't get washed away. Because when that lake gets rough, I bet those waves could crash in here pretty good. Nice. Well, we'll go over and check out that pier. Maybe we'll catch a boat going in and out over there. Once again, this is Port Clinton Lighthouse. There's a little park here. And looks like pier. Right along Lake Erie. Little boathouse. Look at the little door so the little boat can come out. <laughs> That's cool. Here you go, Lake Erie love. Shoresandislands.com. So they got websites set up for all this stuff. Check it out. Once again, there is camping and RVing everywhere around here. It's like they built the place for RVs. There's the van. Oh, I see a big boat going out. Looks like a passenger ferry. Look at it. There it goes. I bet it goes out to that Kelly's Island or one of those islands out there. That's a pretty good size one. Look 
at all the people up top. Look at that thing. That thing's loaded. Look at them all. Jet Express. I bet that's a fuel burning beast. <laughs> the big boats I like got. They got them twin big diesel engines in them. No way. He's doing pretty good. I bet he really takes off here in a minute. As soon as he gets out of this area. Well, cool. Let's walk on out. Check it out. And some nice chunks of wood here. They've been there a long time. Port Clinton welcomed you. Thank you. There's a guy fishing. Yeah, look at him take off. He's really burning some fuel there. Plowing water. Oh. Woke that guy up. He says, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, fun deal. Let's walk out a little ways. Maybe another boat will come through. There's a little fishing boat. People out going out and have some fun. The uneven concrete. Wonder why. <laughs> Maybe it's sitting on a bunch of rocks. There's something coming in. Looks like a barge with a tractor on it. I'll wait for that. Uh, looks like condos out there, apartments, little sailboats. They're out there anchored, probably fishing or just enjoying the day. Power plant. Uh, there's something coming in. Check it out. Check it out. Sky's clearing. Look at them birds. They are just happy. Frolicking around the big old Great Lakes. That barge looks like it's getting closer. Well, here comes the SS John Deere. Excavator on a barge. They probably haul it out to that Kelly's Island or those islands and do work. Well, I bet that cost a few bucks hauling that thing back and forth. Pretty good. A little tug. Oh, look at that. He just has twin outboards on that thing. Pushing it right along. It's pretty good. All right. There's your boat parade. <laughs> well, fun little stuff. You can definitely sit here and see some bigger uh, boats go in and out of here. Especially the ferries that go out to the islands. If you're into fishing, oh my goodness. This is a trip of a lifetime for a fisherman right here. Cool. All right, head to the van. Well, there it is, there's Port Clinton. Got the waterways, the docks, the ferries, old buildings. Perfect lawns and trees. What a plush place to live, huh? 
And plus their little lighthouse replica. Not bad. At least they got it. And look at all the beach. Look at that. You can see the bottom right down in that channel. So it's not that deep. Cool stop. Get a chance. Check out Port Clinton, Ohio. All right, back on the road. Here we go. This is the downtown area. They got their main street all blocked off right there. I was going to drive down through there. But we'll just keep on trucking. Small town USA. Back road, small towns. Cool. Drawbridge for the ferries to get out of here and the sailboats. There's Lake Erie, right off to the right. A lot of apartments here. Wonder what the rent is on something like that. From here, I have to make a big go around. I'm not driving Toledo's coming up. I'm not driving through any big towns. So I need to figure out a plan B. It's probably the last time we're going to see Lake Erie here. We're going to move on. Go find us another great lake to go explore. The journey continues. Talk soon.